with Maria and Steve. How's it going? Um, I was wondering, by any chance, would it be possible to bar borrow some gardening tools off you? We're just actually renovating the house next door. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Well, I'll have a shovel. Uh, 12 noon and Brendan is collecting garden tools from the neighbours to save the teams having to buy them. Go on our ladder. Got myself a brush. I've always uh, been active and always been helping my dad. He used to be a builder for 20 years before he uh, does what he does now. So he taught me a lot about being out and about using my hands. With Jennifer and Ruth having done a quick run to BMQ, they are back with the first van load of supplies. The actual paint part isn't too bad. I recommend strongly painting the whole front of the house at the side. Like it's not I, that big a job. You can't just paint here without going the whole way and doing the whole side. Like that's a week of a job. Like do you know what I mean? I've painted the whole house, like, you can't start with everything home. inside has to be done as well. Yeah. Look, I've spent more summers painting houses. I know how long it takes. I know I'm the workload involved. Lads, we're all wasting time. I know. Jen, yeah, you have yeah. to make a call. I don't, I don't do want, want the want house. Done? I don't want time to be spent on painting the actual house. I, mean, I want the other bits painted. Well, Jen, you have to, if you're making that decision, you're going to have to live with it. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I don't think we have the time to paint the whole house. Like, they keep on going on about the outside walls, but I really don't want them to do it. I don't think it's that important to paint the whole house. Do you know, spending time and money on that isn't the priority. Do you think you'd like to rip it out? Yeah, I can take that yeah. off. Yeah. I still think with the whole paint of the whole house it might be too much done. With the amount that has to be done here now. We can get it done in time. Do you think so? I think so, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, if we, if you guys go now, get all the yeah. stuff. We just need to start right. working through rooms. We get the house, we get the outside. But I want this then down. You want this down? Down. Okay, okay and then down. I have this down by the time you're back. With the decision finally made to paint the exterior of the house, Jennifer and Ruth head back to B&Q for more supplies. We want to get like a freestanding wardrobe. Basically, we need cheap and nice. Do you know? Mm. Can't spend much money. Have you got any ones that are together already? Um, no, all of our stuff's flat packed. Flat packed? All, of it, all of it's flat packed. What do you think? What is it? Where's it for? If I had an upstairs room. Bubble, bubble. Both teams start working on their property makeovers. We're just um, get organising the wardrobes and all that. Jen, it's half past three though, like. I know, but... Like, we haven't really been that long in here, in fairness. It doesn't really matter how long you've been in there, you, you're, you ha you're not here and it's half past three on day one, like. You need to start doing all the painting. Sure, I know, I'm I've one room nearly painted already on my own, like, I'm doing the painting, <laughs> I need support, like. Well, yeah, Aoife, we will be over to help, but, like, there's loads of things I need to do over here and over in your way. Grand. Can I just ask you if you have a chance if you just take, take a, a break? Take a break, have a cup of tea. Yeah, just take a break, have a cup of tea. I'm in the middle of painting, so I don't have time for tea. All right, that's grand. We'll have a look then when we get over. All right. Okay. See you later. Bye. 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 Take a cup of tea. I think she feels she's working, and we're dealing. Yeah, just because like she's actually physically okay. doing some work. That's what she Are says. Serious. Yeah. Take a break. Have Who a cup of tea. That? Jen and Ruth in the background. Are they in a different planet? Meanwhile, in Drumcondra, Lucinda and Breffney follow Geraldine's orders and remove the carpets. Ooh. All right, carpet. You're over here. The plan is we're getting a new fitted carpet. We couldn't have left those carpets down. They were absolutely riddled. They were filthy. I wouldn't expect anybody to move into that. This one's nice. Oh, that's great. That's actually yeah. all right. This is nice. This is the colour we're going for. Yeah, so a, same, that is a basic... With the carpets gone in Drumcondra, Geraldine and her team are picking the replacement flooring. What size is yours? No, we don't. We we're don't not. We're waiting on the carriage to bring us back, but we just want to check that this is the one that we want, all right? And what about underlay? Underlays, we do. Yeah. Okay. Comes in at three times. Floor's not our speciality. We don't. We don't deal with flooring at all. Grand. Okay, that's perfect. 
Um, this morning they ripped out the carpet in the house without any idea of who was going to fit it. They have a fitter, but only for wardrobes and kitchen cabinets, not for carpets. They've only just realised that they're going to have to fit the carpet themselves. Hello? Hey, Sam. These guys are not going to fit carpets or anything like that. They'll actually only build stuff for us. Okay. Okay. okay, stay on the phone. I'm just moving around the shop. <laughs> Steve, how are you about fitting the carpet and the... What, don't they do it? No. Don't do it at all. Well, then we've got no choice but fit it ourselves. And how do you... Are you feel confident about that? Yeah, as long as we get a good Stanley knife. We need knife. a Stanley knife. Yeah. Good Stanley knife. Yeah. 4.30, and Geraldine's team head back to Drumcondra with their new carpets. Oh, Steve, thank God you can fit carpet. We'd have been shot in the foot. I've never fitted a carpet before in my life. Well, you better learn. Quick. They would have saved themselves a lot of headaches if they had simply rented a steam cleaner. They could have steam cleaned the carpet instead of ripping the whole thing up, throwing it all out and costing themselves a couple of hundred euro. Well, we can, we Jennifer can... and Ruth, however, Hello? are still Hello? in B&Q. Hiya. You all right? We have a huge amount of work to do. We're going to be leaving hopefully in the next half an hour, all right? What are you doing for another half an hour? Well, I'm still trying to pick up loads more stuff. Jen, I t I'll tell you now, OK? We are hours and hours and hours behind where we need to be. There is very yeah. little chance that we're going to get this house finished if you guys don't come back straight away. Yeah. Uh, Honest to God, we are rushing around the shop trying to get stuff, OK? We're not standing here doing nothing. Right? Tell her to leave. Tell her to leave. We'll go back tomorrow. Tell her to Jen, leave. Jen, anything we don't have now, we can go, we'll go back tomorrow for it. We need people back here to get the painted done, okay? Okay. We, no, literally we'll be leaving now in the next few minutes, okay? Okay. Coming towards the end of the first day, and I'm very, very disappointed in Jennifer's skills throughout this task. She's all over the place. She's put nothing together. You know, there was no plan, no preparation, and there's no way the other team could be as bad as this. Stuff Wouldn't have everything, no. What are you missing? Still a load of stuff, like, we have to get loads sent over, but it's just taking so long, like, running around the shop, like, trying to get all between lights and everything just getting done, like. Yeah, because we're way behind. You're going to have to do a task sheet. Yeah. It's the only way. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, far yeah, yeah, I've yeah, asked um, Jen to do the task list a number of times because we're so far behind where we need to be. It still hasn't been done. We have a huge amount of work to get done and uh, she needs to start managing the amount of work that's there. There's no panic setting in yet, but... I don't know, talk to me this time tomorrow. <laughs> Pressure is slowly building on us, so just need some direction. Jen, to care what she's doing, she's always looking for something. Where's the paintbrush? Where's the scraper? Where's the screwdriver? Where's the phone? She just, like, in my opinion, doesn't have much to contribute, like, on any level. I'm not being bitchy, I'm, just, I'm not saying it behind anyone's back, I'm just saying to their face, like, what are you doing? All I, all I asked for was anybody knew where the scraper was. The phone, the scraper, the fairy liquid, the fucking... Sorry, thing. Jesus, what am I supposed to walk? I walk around for an hour and keep looking for the thing. Well, you walked around for six asked. hours in being cute today. Oh, like, yeah, we've walked been... around for six hours, Ethan. 11 o'clock in the morning till 10 past 5 in the evening. It's just dog ignorance, like... Oh, you don't speak to anybody like that, you know? Like, I haven't spoke to her ever, like, sh I've never shouted at her. She's evil, actually. We'll get this lawn done and uh, we'll just crack into more of the painting then. I thought we'd have the house painted and we'd just be decorating it tomorrow, to be honest. Um, we're meant to have paint, masonry paint back for 11 o'clock. And here we are, Steve, at whatever time it is now, 7, 8, and we're, we're shuffling away at it. I'm not happy. I'm really not happy. This is after. <laughs> this is Hurricane Katrina, part two in there. Hurricane Jennifer. Lads, it's half nine, we have to finish. I just want to look at the sweat. I just want to thank you all for doing an amazing job today. We're brilliant, the best team ever. Now, we're going to wrap up, go home, get a good night's sleep. But for in the morning, first things first, ceilings need to be painted, yeah? Yeah. Ref, I'm going yeah. to go to b so I need you to have that garden immaculate by the time we get back. 9.30pm. Um, Day one is finally over, and the teams must go home. Renovations in Cabra and Drumcondra will recommence at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Day two. 
and the teams must complete their renovations by 6 p.m. when they must show their newly made...